Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, where I share with you all the juicy gossip, the hottest trends, and the most amazing secrets of the stars. Meet Megan, a trailblazer who's not afraid to shake things up. From the heart of Nigeria, she's sending waves across the globe. Her assistant thought it was just another day at the office, but oh, was he in for a surprise? Forget the cliches, forget the expected. Meg's not looking for just any token of appreciation. She's on a quest for the extraordinary. She wants diamonds, and she wants them at a price that defies all odds. What's inside? Join us on this dazzling adventure, where expectations are flipped and the sparkle of. Prince Harry and Meghan break strict royal protocol with one unacceptable move in Nigeria. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle chose to break away from previous royal protocol with one particular move while on their tour in Nigeria. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle received a warm welcome while on their visit to Nigeria as they were given an array of gifts from locals throughout their time in the West African country. However, the duo's acceptance of the gifts goes against royal family protocol as there are strict rules around working royals receiving gifts. Members of the firm are banned from accepting gifts which would place them under any obligation to the donor, according to their website. However, small gifts such as flowers, food and books, can be accepted if the subject matter is not controversial and if gifts are of a small monetary value costing less than £150. A strict royal record is also kept of all official gifts handed to the royal family. Harry and Meghan, on the other hand, after stepping down as working royals back in 2020, no longer have to follow the rules of royals and have been happily accepting gifts in Nigeria. Upon arrival in Nigeria on Thursday, the Sussexes received two paintings, one of which showed him and his late mother, Princess Diana. On the day of watching a sitting volleyball match at Nigeria Unconquered, a local charity that supports wounded, injured, and sick service members in Abuja. Megan received a lovely piece of artwork from a young girl, which depicted animals and flowers. They were given their own personalized t-shirts, each patterned with slogans, Harry Dreams Big, and Megan Dreams Big. Harry also looked honored as he was given a traditional Nigerian outfit as he and Megan attended a reception at the Nigerian Defense Headquarters in Abuja. Megan also received clothing on the trip and wore a traditional Aso Oak outfit on the final day of the trip. She later changed into a yellow Carolina Herrera dress but was gifted a matching shawl by the wife of the governor of Lagos State, Babjid Sanwoolu. During their brief trip, the Sussexes were showered with an array of gifts, ranging from artwork and clothing to jewelry and literature. The Royal Family website states particularly on official overseas trips organizations and individuals should be discouraged from offering extravagant gifts. The advice goes on to state, whilst always remaining sensitive to local custom, households should explore alternative gestures of goodwill during preliminary discussions about engagements. Gifts are defined as official when received during an official engagement or duty or in connection with the official role or duties of a member of the royal family. Thank you so much for watching, my lovely fans. You are the best. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.